Hello, my name is Rob Newman. I am the tax partner at Carter Collins and Meyer, firm of accountants in North Manchester. Increasingly, we are seeing people trading and dealing in cryptocurrencies and are being asked to help them with the taxation of that. So I thought I would put this short video together today to talk you through briefly the various taxations that may apply if you are dealing in any form of crypto. The first and biggest question is, is it a capital gain or a business income? Well, in the majority of cases, it is going to be a capital gain. Uh, certainly HMRC see cryptocurrency as a digital asset and therefore wish to tax it under the capital gains regime. Any sale or disposal of crypto is going to be classed as a taxable event and would uh, need to go onto a tax return. This includes buying physical assets or services. So if you use 0.1% of your Bitcoin and buy yourself a pizza or whatever it is that people are doing with those nowadays, you actually have realized a capital gain at that point. Crypto to crypto trades are also considered to be a taxable disposal as one asset requires the sale of the other asset to happen. Um, this is sometimes a surprise for people they have churned one lot of crypto for another or one batch of coins for another and believe that it all falls outside of capital gains and unfortunately that is not the case the gain or loss is actually calculated by taking the selling price of the asset that you have sold less the purchase price less any costs of disposal such as network or exchange fees this appears to be a quite straightforward transaction. It can get more complicated because it does work in the same way as share trading. What that means is there are considered to be pools of assets with 30 day rules, uh, depending on when you have bought and sold them, preventing what used to be known as bed and breakfasting. Uh, the prevention of bed and breakfasting was often or the, it was, was brought in to stop people using their annual CGT allowance, which is 12,300 quid. In other words, what I'm trying to say is if you buy and sell stuff, uh, crypto assets, which have a profit element to them of less than 12,300 pounds in a given tax year, the uh, buying and selling event won't itself be taxable. But I would still look at being reported if the actual transaction value is more than four times the annual allowance. Where would it be considered to be business income? Well, HMRC said this is going to be particularly rare if it's for individuals. Um, they're looking at something like 5,000 trades per annum to make an individual be considered as business income as opposed to capital gains. Why would you necessarily want it as business income? Well, potentially the rates of tax could be lower depending on the amounts of money that have been made from it. Um, if you sit there and trade this all day long, potentially it might fall into that. But I can't imagine any of the people that we work with or viewing this video are going to fall into the business income side of taxation of crypto. Other points to consider if you are buying, selling or managing and dealing with crypto in anything is lost keys or stolen funds are not considered to be a disposal by HMRC. In other words, if you have lost your cryptocurrency, for some reason, the guy who buried his key within a, uh, a, a, a landfill somewhere, um, you can't claim a capital loss for these. Um, you might want to otherwise claim a capital loss for things like this if you've made gains elsewhere, but you can't if it's lost or stolen. Um, staking the rewards uh, for staking crypto on a platform to assist in building the blockchain are considered to be miscellaneous income on a tax return. That still means they are taxable. Um, miscellaneous income, though, would make it fall under uh, income tax rules as opposed to CGT if you are staking airdrops, a distribution of coins for supporting a project. The rules differ depending on if the user works for the airdrop. Um, if they do, um, it is taxable as miscellaneous income. If they don't work for the airdrop, they are non taxable. Gifts. Gifting crypto to another party is classed as a taxable disposal in the same way as gifting anything of value would be. Uh, the selling price is deemed to be 
the value at the data disposal. What this means is if you gift to somebody to whom you are associated, um, it will be considered to be market value. If you gift to somebody who you are not associated with, you will wouldn't necessarily be being taxed on it. And spousal transfers are also available with crypto. So if, if um, civil partners or um, married couples make gifts between themselves, um, that is not considered to be a CGT event. What that means is if you've made gains of more than £12,300 and your partner, civil partner or um, married spouse hasn't uh, made any gains in a period, you may wish to give them some of your gains prior or some of your asset prior to disposal to make use of their annual allowances. Again, if this is you, please do have a chat with us. Quite happy to have the conversation. Um, the rules, believe it or not, for most people who are watching this are going to be fairly straightforward. Uh, some other things that we're considering with this, if, you can't, if you're starting to be in this world, is margin trading derivatives. Margin trading or derivative trading is where you can open a trading position on a currency for more than you have on account with that exchange. The risk here is that your position is over leveraged and a large cap crash in the value of the underlying asset would leave you owing more than you have on the exchange. I have known people to do this. I have known them to lose substantial amounts of money. Um, it is high, high risk activity, not something that I would do myself. Um, it, it's best left to professionals, I believe. Tax rules on this in the crypto market are, however, exceptionally vague. Uh, the concept generally is that the margin trading should be kept in separate pools and then summed up and taxed under CGT or income tax, depending on your status, which again, as I say, for most people watching this is going to be under CGT. Um, it's income, as I say, if I would suggest for a lot watching this, this is going to be quite rare stuff doing it on margin or derivatives. This is very, very high risk gambling. Um, DeFi transactions and liquidity pooling. Again, from a tax perspective, we're talking here, an increase in crypto popularity is showing an increase in decentralized finance products generally. DeFi products um, have various exchanges and platforms that are allowing people to make loans of them um, or liquidity pools as loan making is sometimes referred to in this world. Uh, there's no direct guidance on this, but we are following anyone who's doing this. We're treating it as if it's mining income or staking income. Staking having been set out in the previous slide, depending on where you sit in that particular blockchain. Um, the challenge here can be dealing and detailing the transactions uh, as DeFi platforms are much harder to actually get information about and from. Um, I haven't yet actually seen anybody within our own client base undertake any of these type of transactions, but people are becoming sufficient, uh, increasingly sophisticated. And I have seen peer-to-peer -peer lending increase significantly for a period of time until people made significant losses. So maybe this is something that we will start seeing. Finally, in this very quick uh, overview is non-fungible tokens. Uh, non-fungible tokens are the digital assets such as digital arts or collectibles. Um, a couple of cases of this uh, have hit national headlines recently. Again, not practically seen anybody of these, but the tax guidance for it is treat them as you would any other capital asset. So if you sell things that have value when sold, we would suggest you tell us about it and we look to see whether this needs to be included in the capital gain. Um, Again, that's subject to capital gains tax limits, the £12,300 per year. Uh, if you have this situation where you've sold a non-fungible token, please do contact me. Uh, any questions, I can be contacted on inquiries at uk-ccm.com. Uh, my name is Rob Newman. I am the tax partner at Carter, Collins and Meyer. Hopefully this very quick guide to cryptocurrency will have helped you. The slides will be available below on a download on PDF. 
Um, in most cases, I believe the people that we work with will be covered sufficiently by this. If not, um, I can send you on to some specialists if your situation is more complicated than would otherwise be something that we would look after. Uh, until the next video, thank you very much for listening. I look forward to speaking with you again soon.